Welcome to another video on Cake Lock Identity and Access Management System. In this short video, I am talking about user federation in Cake Lock. Before directly moving into the Cake Lock admin console, I will explain what is user federation. Cake Lock has its own internal user store. It is used for storing users' identity information in Cake Lock. When you create new users, they will be directly created in this internal user store. But in certain scenarios, people need to connect custom user stores to Keyclock. It can be another relational database user store, or NoSQL user store, or an LDAP user store, or it can be any other kind of user store. In order to connect these types of third party user stores, we need to use user federation in Keyclock. Let me go to the admin console and show the user federation section. Now I am in the admin console. From this left menu item, you can go to the user federation section. Keyclock provides out of the box support for LDAP and Active Directory. If you want to connect a custom user store, you need to develop a connector and put it into the Keyclock server as a module. Currently, dropdown only shows Kerberos and LDAP methods. If you would integrate your own connector, it will be listed here. In order to create custom connectors, you need to use service provider interfaces provided by Keyclock. Especially, user storage SPI is used for this purpose. I have created a separate video about connecting a custom user storage to Keyclock. You can refer to that video if you are interested. So this is what I wanted to talk in this short video. See you in the next one. Thank you very much.